what's going on everybody? It's Millbro. I'm actually doing this intro again because uh, we ended off our last session because of uh, a crash. Uh, so it's a little bit later than usual, but joined by Fangs once again. He's uh, currently getting into the world as we speak. We're just starting up right. fresh for a new recording session. What were you going to say? Apparently the invite didn't work, so I have to restart the uh, application, so I'll be in, in a good minute. Oh, lovely. Fun seven... times with but... seven days glitching. Yep. Yeah, the, the fun stuff. Yeah, guys, in today's episode, I'm... I don't know about things, but uh, I'm going to be working on upgrading the base more, uh, getting more resources toward it, and... Uh, at least get it to the uh, iron level. Yeah, Fangs is uh, having all the fun in the world with the uh, with his uh, fun little uh, having to close the app and restart. All right, right for our invite. Okay, give me one second, guys. There we go. Yeah, me and Fangs were just talking about like uh. Uh, we were talking about one of the games we play, uh, Generation Zero, and so, if you guys have not played that game, uh, I highly recommend you do yeah, try it out, it's a lot of fun. It can be a little frustrating at times, but myself personally, I get a lot of enjoyment out of, uh, out of the guns from it, they sound, uh, very nice. They're extremely loud. But makes sense. I mean, it kind of helps that I have tinnitus, so, so it's like I don't have uh, much in terms of the... So it's like, uh, they're not nearly as loud for me. It's like my one friend, he says, like, he, he basically, every time he shoots the Barrett because he has the volume cranked up to max, he says it basically goes, like, he almost goes to... Uh, uh, yeah. He, yeah. I'm like, maybe you should... A deafening roar. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, what do you expect? It's a 50 Browning machine gun, and maybe you should turn down the volume. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong. <laughs> Actually, what caused my tinnitus was, uh... It was years ago, like, uh... Actually, probably coming up on a decade ago now, like, I've had it for... I've had tinnitus with me, but, uh... It was either due to... As I recalled it initially, but my dad told me it was uh, from something else, uh, but, uh, it was either from a, um, him or a family friend shooting in an SKS, which is like a semi-automatic AK, which is 762 by 39 and then, uh, that's how I recall it, but my dad says, uh, no, you said years ago it was because of, uh, me shooting my Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum, aka the most powerful most powerful production revolver in the world. And that was outdoors, and I for It's like, I remember one time I forgot to, like, there was one, On that day, I, I forgot to wear hearing protection for part of it, I'm like... I was just kinda like, yeah, the 500 Magnum makes more sense. Yeah, people tend to say now, like, he'll, people wonder how I can live with it for so long, and I'm just like, I got used to it. I'm just hearing it ringing in my right ears constantly. I've learned how to tune it out. Oh, that's good, I guess. But people ask, like, uh, why don't you go get, like, a corrective uh, surgery for it, you know? Because, like, apparently there's surgery you can do to, uh, to, uh, repair your, you know, because, like, they say it's, like, my, the problem is your, your eardrum is actually, uh, damaged from that noise, and it's, like, people are just kind of, like, why not go get surgery to fix it? I'm, like, I know surgery has gotten better over the past, uh, few decades, but I don't want to risk uh, fixing my, uh, well, taking uh, taking surgery and then potentially having, um... It worsen? Yeah, like, something go wrong with the surgery and then, uh, suddenly I'm, like, completely deaf in one ear. 
It's just kind of one of those at this point, I've learned to, I've dealt with it for 10 years, so it's like, I just rather kind of deal with my hearing as it is. A deer. Um, I don't know if I've started yet. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, smelting in uh, stone into the forge because I think you have uh, concrete mixing unlocked. Uh, let me or, check. Or I think you're close to it. It's been a week since we recorded, guys. Uh, no, I don't. How how close are you? I got five skill points, because when I took a break, I think I forgot what I was working towards. Okay, time for you to become the zombie IRS again. <laughs> Gotta make the zombies pay their taxes. Yep. <laughs> and they, they, the, the zombies pay their taxes by giving you skill points. Guess so. I mean, I think it's safe to say that old cash has gone out of style. Yep. Yeah, it's one of those I saw, like, uh, I actually covered in my uh, update video, like, using uh, info from uh, Spartan85's uh, PAX East video. He, big thanks to him, like, you know, because I asked him on Discord, you know, for permission. He's like, oh, yeah, sure, just be sure you give me credit in your video and in your description. I'm like, that's no problem at all. It's like, you know, just... It hasn't gotten a ton of views, but it's one of those. It's like I, it's like I, I at least want to try and help spread the word a little bit. But I, it's like I mentioned in my episode of uh, Get Rich or Die uh, that I'm, I want to try to potentially uh, like stream on a, a Twitch because the new console version is gonna have uh, the Fun Pips said they're gonna have full Twitch integration. Like, literal, like, uh, basically, people can, uh, like, donate bits or whatever their currency is called, and and they they can donate their bits and basically, like, spawn in loot chests or, or uh, zombies or, you know, like, the demolisher zombies I was telling you about, the big explosive ones, or even screamer zombies. Like, they'd be able that to do That just sounds them. terrifying. Well, they get a big very for very good creative for very good content because of because of all the chaos. Yeah, but then imagine having to fight that. I would have a heyday just getting so many kills. I love that idea. <laughs> I want it to happen now. <laughs> You're just like I want my XP farm. <laughs> no, I just want blood. So you're blood basically for the blood god. <laughs> You're basically just like I want to, I want to be swimming in bodies. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I want uh, the field of bodies to be like the my world because I literally made a pit around my base. Oh, we with made all the, the mistake with all the steel spikes. Yeah, we we made we realize now it's a terrible idea to have all the spikes there. Because then we can't increase our level for weapons. So now we're just going... We had so many zombies just pile up. They were running across the spikes over there on dead bodies. <laughs> it was absurd. So basically what you're saying is you're DJ Khaled and uh, suffering from success. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm right now I'm just uh, wrenching a car up to see if I can potentially get an engine for a cement mixer. Oh, the... Because I... There's a low-quality chainsaw... Well, there's a low-quality engine in the chainsaw, but I don't have the schematic, so I can't pull that out. Uh. But yeah, it's just kind of... It's one of those, I'm like... I started uh, in my Get Rich or Die series, like, uh, you know, doing, like, uh... It was for the Day 14 horde, I started doing a... Like, a little spike pit, and then in my last episode I recorded, I started recording the whole... I started, you know, deepening the spike pit a little bit just to do some reinforcements and also get my uh, construction tools up to level 40. I'll say this best spike ink, ink pit depth three blocks. Yeah, I dug. I've dug a. I've dug out the pit three blocks into the ground. I'm just uh, working on getting a 
um, kind of getting the outside fortified, like the outside wall fortified for it. But yeah, this is, I'm doing this all on day 20. Well, coming into day 21. Oh look, a zombie for me to be over the head with a shovel. Oh yeah, on my world, I apparently found the max limit for how many lights you can have before the game crashes. What's that? 500. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and there, and because I was having this large hanger, or it, it was supposed to be really nice, although I wanted it to be even better with the delay a turn on as it gets further away, just for the nice cinematic. But that's uh -huh. in the newer version, so I have to wait to do that. Is is the hangar you made, uh, is it kind of like one of those big aircraft hangars? Uh, it's 8 blocks wide, and 80 blocks long, and 4 blocks tall, all underground. Oh, wow. So you're kind yeah. of building, you're building like an underground bunker. Uh, and that's just for the, uh, where we're gonna store all our vehicles. I plan to make it like an entire, entire maze. This oh, wow. This is why I started calling myself a dwarf. Because <laughs> I was the only one mining it. <laughs> My man's just doing the whole mining operation by himself. That's why I gave myself the nickname of Dwarf. Alright, if none of y'all are gonna do, do this, uh, I'm going to just do it myself. Basically. Break your kneecaps. <laughs> I'm breaking this old- this woman's kneecaps with a baseball bat. Which one is and it? And she's the... dead. Decayed mother. Oh, the blue shirt zombie. Ooh, 44 for magnum ammo. And painkillers. Meanwhile, I'm just continuing to beat zombies over the head with shovels. Yep. I'm just like, alright, you people, like, since you decided to force a shovel upon me for a weapon, I am going to use said shovel. <laughs> it's like the, uh, the. The joke, the uh, the meme I've seen of like, where someone's like, you know, <laughs> reasoning for speeding is, uh, I paid for all the meter, so I'm going to use all the, the meter. <laughs> like, oh, I paid for 180 miles an hour. I'm going to use all 180 miles an hour. <laughs> yep, I paid for I paid for all the speedometer, so I'm going to use all the speedometer. <laughs> mm. Which that, that's one way of thinking about it. <laughs> And I mean, it's technically not wrong thinking. Like, I paid for it, I should be able to use it. Yeah, what's the fun of going to speed limit? Yeah. I mean, if I really felt it, I mean, if you're in Germany, you know, Germany, you could just go use the Autobahn. There's no speed limit on that. Lucky bastards. <laughs> yeah, there's sections of it where there's literally no speed limit. Again, lucky bastards. I want to go. <laughs> Let's test how fast this can go. Gone. And then... Evaporate into dust until I accidentally hit a rock. Oh, you mean like uh, how I mysteriously did on Generation Zero with the uh, with the uh, with the motorcycle with the yes, tricycle? Yes, and you crash, making both of us fly off the vehicle. Yeah, I was like, what the hell happened there? I saw the rock. You didn't. Yeah, that really threw us for a loop. Ow. Oh, good news, I got an engine. Nice. Yeah, I got half the- I got some of the town upon me. You need assistance in taking out zombies? I should be fine. Ow, with damn crawler. He, he sprayed You're my- You're slightly a lower level than me, so it'd be best if you get some more XP. Crawler sprained my leg. Fine, you need me over there? No, I should be fine. I got my bow. My bow's next to broken, I just realized. Mine too. Fair. And now it's back. It only lost one gear on it. For me personally, it's just like when I when I'm running low on a on a uh, XP, I just uh, run my uh, I just run I just uh, scrap my old bow and uh, make a new one. Yep. 
<laughs> I just came up behind it and shot it in its head. <laughs> just, they don't know this I'm here. You're the epitome of stealth. Come on, stand still. Headshot, I saw that one. I've been told, like, uh, by a commenter, it's like, if you want to hit, like, headshots more easily with the, with the bow on this version, it, it's best to aim for, like, the upper chest, because usually, like, the arrow will wind up, uh, hitting them in the head. I'm gonna break into this wealthy house. Break in entering. They didn't pay the taxes, I guess. I'm just relieving them of their worldly possessions. Okay, that I completely forgot about that. I just used a splint on my hotbar, and uh, and it uses the info, it uses the animation for drinking water when you don't have a jar, like when you're just drinking straight from the water source. Yep. You know that one? Very fun, you could say. It's almost like you're giving somebody a kiss. One might think that. that I mean, that's how I see it. Um. Ooh, check I got a crossbow smack for you. Oh, cool. It's in this book help shit bookcase right here. I can't grab my inventory it's full. Right down there. I mean, thankfully, I could just read it out, read it straight out of the inventory. Yeah, because I already know it. I want to craft a crossbow. It's my favorite weapon in the entire game. And you want the explosive bolts? Yes. Um, Those are just my favorite. Everything goes boom. No, no problems anymore. You're basically you're basically you basically want to be the Oppenheimer of seven days. I guess I don't really understand that reference. He's the one that made the uh, the fat man, and well, he he was in the Manhattan Project. If you know what that is. Nope. It made the big boom of World War Two. Oh, so what one? What one of the two? Either Fat Man or Little Boy. I, I know he had a big hand in play in uh in doing it. Uh. Yeah, the reason why I'm not calling it by its actual name is like I don't know if like uh, like uh, somehow like if that will affect my video in a sense. Smart. Because sometimes YouTube's a little touchy on that stuff. Yep. That um, guys, I'm gonna break into the safe and I'll be back with you in, in just a moment. And almost broke in into the gun safe now, guys. Two shotgun parts, a pistol parts, receiver, and grip. And they're all not that great of quality. Oh, I'm not used to not carrying uh, all the uh, rotten flesh and turds ever because I'm not focused on uh, um, fertilizer in this world. Do we make a farm? I mean, if we want to have meat stew later on, uh, yes. I can start clearing out a small section that we can just turn to a farm area. Yeah, okay. There you go, uh, big guy. You're, you can take your nap now. Um, got, got the big tall guy. I call him Bob. Nice. There you go, Bob. Okay, there we go. So, I think that's the general frame structure of how this guy built it. Uh, might not be exactly loading in for me, but, uh... Oh, you... Oh, okay. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, it just wasn't rendering in for me just yet. Yeah, Vings is working on a is on a, working on a horde base. He 
he found it, like uh, another guy built it in one of his worlds, so it's a fun little uh, thing. It's, it's actually quite nice because you can head up to the top and then there's little slits right here that you can shoot down. Make it re really good for defending if they're right here. The only thing is don't fall in. Yeah. Yeah, it's it almost kind of like you know, it reminds me of like a a uh, like a in a sense like a spider leg base a little bit. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Um, I can at least start doing iron upgrades. Yeah, remember with what I was saying about the lights and how it crashed in my world? Oh yeah? Well, I mean crash, I mean you open the world that almost immediately crashes within five seconds. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, it was interesting to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I gotta take uh, off. Do we have the materials to make a claw hammer? Um, we should. Uh, I, I don't need a workbench to make those. No, I'm just claw looking. Hammer. Oh, I have the forged iron, so I'll go craft it. I was say, like, I don't have this. the forged iron. I, uh, you you want I, the ones I have? Yeah, I should be fine. Forge is working to make a oh uh to smelt out stone for cement. I I completely forgot about all the stone axes I crafted last time. <laughs> yeah. I think we've both forgotten about what we were doing since it's been about a week. Yeah. I, it's like, I'm like, or I'm like, wait a minute, why are all these stone axes? Oh, right, I crafted like 100 or like 150 of them the last time we recorded. And they're all taking up space in my chest. Yeah, just scrapping these down. Do you have that. do you have a wrench to scrap down stuff? A wrench? Yeah. Nope. Well, I have a level A seven in my base. It's uh, it's in the chest in the corner. Oh, I got two zombies out where my house is. Are they gonna come? Oh, not two, three, four, five, one crawler, six. Six zombies and one crawler. They must be come, coming to inspect your handiwork. Oh no, they're not at that point. They're at my actual building. The place I have my base. Ah, uh, okay. I was thinking like, oh, they must... They want to come over and inspect your, uh, your lovely work on your house. <laughs> yes. They're the zombie building inspectors. The headshot, you're dead. Heck, apparently when they're breaking stuff, they don't really move their head that much. Hmm. More iron upgrades. How'd you survive a headshot that one-shots you guys? Like, dang. There you go, now you're dead. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more upgrades, guys, and then, uh... And then I'll... Uh, go check what Fangs is doing. I'll catch up with you then. Oh, dang. Right. Off with your head. I just shot your head off. I had just I just had one zombie spawn behind me while I saw more. Ow, damn nurse. Come on, guys. Take... <laughs> There's still more coming. <laughs> this is yeah. like three hordes. They just want to I guess they're annoyed that I've been collecting taxes from their friends. It's a zombie mafia. Probably. 
Yeah, I just had another one spawn in front of me. It's like our tree is now level 21. There you go, Charlie. Yeah, my archery is level 12. I got 25 skill points to spend, though. Right, and our headshot. Our headshot. Just trying to see what my mining tools are at for skills. Um, our crawler. I'm just stinking a bunch of arrows into this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's just. Yeah. There's a couple more behind her under you. Or were under you. Yeah. Kind of absurd how many. Oh, can't shoot you through the through the waves. I mean through the fence. There. But uh, you see how many corpses are here, right? A oh few God. of them died on the cor corpses, so there should be a lot more. Well we do have a floating corpse. I just one of the one of the zombies gave me uh some nine mil. Like thirty three of it. Nice. Um a zombie disappeared without giving uh, without dropping a corpse. Ooh. Doing the basics. Yep, just doing all the basics of that. Have you read the poppin' pills? Uh yeah, I think so. You didn't grab the chemistry station, did you? I don't think so. Probably not. I don't have a chemistry station with me. Okay, you did break in here to have a looky and... Nine bucks out of a cash register to do and... Construction tools is level 32. I'm just taking some of the bandages out of your, out of the pill cases that you didn't, uh, that you didn't search. All right. Figured I'd at least just check your, check to see if anything was left, be left behind. All right. Um, not, like, not a pretty good job of. Uh, I'm searching most of it. A couple are untouched, but it's no big deal. This helps my scavenging out a little bit. Yeah, because when I came in, there's are there some areas that were untouched. Although with how long it's been, it might have been just as your thing refreshed. I don't know, make it crash. I know I looted almost the entire area very thoroughly. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbing the uh, chemistry bench now. Uh, okay, got it. I didn't. I didn't smack it too many times with the uh, the pickaxe like I did with our first forge. Yeah. The only other thing I think is that is so left in this place is uh, the back area with the uh, with the pill cases. Yep, this is all untouched. Got a couple blood draw kits though. Make that three and a beaker. Oh, not not too bad of loot here. Um. More paper, I'll keep it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a bit more work off camera, and I'll tune in with you guys once it's nighttime. 
All right, guys, that's going to be after, you know, about it for today's episode. I'm going to continue working on more upgrades for the base. Uh, it's nighttime now, so I hope you all enjoyed, and I thank you all for so much for watching. Unless something entertaining uh, overnight happens, uh, we'll tune in with you in the morning. Have a great day.